Hey everybody, Chris here again. Welcome back to the channel. Always good to have you with us. So today, we got a box in the mail. And this box came from Amiga of Rochester. So if you saw a previous video on the Dell Optiplex SX270 that you can see here, you might have seen a comment that I put in the video as a follow-up that, well, the motherboard gave out due to some bad capacitors. Well, our friends at Amiga of Rochester have repaired this for us, and today we're going to put the motherboard back in the machine. So, without further ado, let's go. So, step one of the repair is we need to open the box. Here we have the heat sink that I've unwrapped from here. Here we have a memory module that I sent on for testing. And here we have the motherboard nice and recapped. So pretty much any essential capacitor was replaced and this thing is now working beautifully. Let's get it installed. So next up, we'll go ahead and open up the case here. And here you can see I kind of just loosely put everything in here. So we'll go ahead and pull these components out. We'll go ahead and put the hard drive shield back in place here. Sometimes it helps to remove the optical drive before trying to force something in. Okay, let's put the screws back in. All right, now that we've made it this far, let's see if we can scrape off some of this old thermal paste and apply a new coat. And maybe I'll use some uh, solvent here to clean, or maybe we'll just kind of scrape off and see where things go. Nice and clean, isn't it? I like it. That's good enough for me. That's about 400% more compound than it had before. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I guess we'll find out. All right, let's go ahead and put the heat sink back on. And let's install those lovely fans. Ooh, they're nice and clean. Wait a minute. All right, well, I won't say that's better, but here's the thing. 
They're just gonna get dirty again anyway. So I'll put them in. Snap, snap. Okay, time for a power on self test. Oh no. Well folks, I have some not so great news. It looks like further repairs may be required here. And as I turn it around on the back, I see that lights A and B are lit up. So, Houston, I think we have a problem. Okay, so at this point, the troubleshooting began. And I already know what the problem is, but I'll kind of take you through the different steps and discoveries that I encountered. So, back to troubleshooting, and here's what we see. We get the beeps of death. So here's what I discovered, actually. If I take these two modules and switch places, and yes, that light is on, but I found it safe to move modules around otherwise when the machine is powered down. And now the machine starts up. So at this point, I thought we should consider running MemTest. And since MemTest is on a floppy disk, I went and found my floppy drive. Let's go ahead and pop it in there. And we can see that we're already having some sorts of problems here. So yeah, something is definitely wrong. Let's try moving the memory modules around again and see if it makes any difference. So having moved the memory modules around, let's start up and run MemTest again. So with a successful run under our belt, I still thought, huh, something is strange. And sure enough, subsequent power ons resulted in more problems. So I did what any logical person would do. Well, at least I did something. And I went to eBay and bought two new modules. And I thought, well, it's time for an upgrade. And the cool thing about these modules is they're even official Dell branded modules. How cool is that? So let's go ahead and get this upgrade installed in the PC and see what happens next. Spoiler alert, we're not out of the woods. So naturally with the modules installed, it's time to run MemTest again because yeah, you always have to run MemTest on your new memory, especially when it's new old memory. So what are the chances, right? Huh. We have another bad module. Well, I contacted the eBay seller and despite the fact that this was a $12 transaction, the seller was very gracious and sent me another Dell module, which we will now install. And let's see what happens. I have also marked this module with a nice letter B indicating that it is bad, since it is the bad module that was installed in slot one in this case. All right, you know the drill. Time for another round of mem test. So fortunately, that round of mem test passed. I think we better hurry up and put the cover on this machine before anything else bad happens. There, now that the cover's back on, it's not allowed to give us any more trouble. That's the rules. So at this point, we have to ask ourselves, is the machine fully sorted? I'm not so convinced, but we've at least 
recapped the motherboard and replaced the memory. So the next question may be, well, this machine obviously had some sort of a failure. Was a recap really necessary? The answer is yes. And you can see here and looking at this picture that there were certainly capacitors that had vented. So yes, that was a necessary repair. And apparently the memory modules that were in it were just starting to get flaky despite testing good some of the time. So hopefully this fix will get us most of the way there, but I'm not convinced. Remember, as I've said in a past video, this machine has run poorly better than other machines have run well. And I don't expect that to change. Okay, so with that, the machine is sorted for now. We'll see for how long, but it's nice to see it running again, and it will get a chance to test itself daily because, as you may recall from past videos, this is a working machine. At seven o'clock each night, it's gonna boot up and do backups. So time will tell, and perhaps we'll check in on it later. Look for a comment below, and I'll let you know how the machine is working. Okay, that's what I have for you today. Certainly enjoyed, once again, getting this Optiplex SX270 back in shape. Big thanks to Amiga of Rochester for recapping it for me. I certainly do appreciate that. Definitely subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more content on the way. Ring that notification bell and you'll be notified when it's available. If you liked what you saw, please consider giving me a thumbs up. If not, well, I guess you know what to do. Any engagement is good engagement. As always, it's been great having you along for the journey, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.